Hey guys, welcome! Hi, cutie pie! These things are persistent. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> that's pretty cute. <laughs> Last hope for humanity. Next time on Nekos, <laughs> a pillar of light has transported you to a world headed to under a constant attack of vast creatures known as Shadow Buggers. Shadow Buggers? The fate of the world depends on the perseverance of the space duo, so something such as that you've been brought to safe shoes. Oh my Jesus Christ, slow the fuck down. Episode 1, choose whichever you'd like. Someone needs to recap me on what the, the fuck they just said. There's no way it could be that. Is it really true you offer to join the force voluntarily? I like in some kind of bind or something. Money problems? Maybe we're looking for security for your family's future. Well, you see, I got summoned in the middle of Tokyo, and it kind of died. Everything. And so I had no choice but to join them. At the end. And this music. Three foreboding commanders managed to evade the bombardment and gradually disappear amid the chaos. They really did the, the peace thing and disappeared. Kurigani enthusiastically motions for Nomad to step inside an enclosed testing pod nearby. Oh, there it is, the testing pod. <laughs> I really don't trust this maniac, especially when his eyes glitter like that. Help me out here, Everton. Uh, enjoy the air, Lieutenant Nomad. Show what it means to be a battery. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I thought I could trust you to have my back, but you're no different from this lot, are you? <laughs> I'm sick of these cold coffin of steel. I will forget this, you know, not now and not ever. <laughs> Kurigani manages to drag Nomad into the pod. With the push of a button, the door seals itself shut. Rip Nomad. Rest in peace, Break. Break's ship is completely enveloped in raging crimson flames. Bits and pieces. The destroyed ship sprays throughout the area. Many flying right past your ship's four camera. Jesus Christ, did he actually die? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Just so suddenly? Promise me a kiss for a return. Hey, come on now. This channel is exclusively for a special military communication. Whatever you say on these lines is going into the archives, where it'll exist forever. <laughs> He's right! So if he promises you something now, you'll have it on tape, so to speak. In case he ever goes back on his word! <laughs> <laughs> nice virtue. Very nice virtue. Um... Acquaintance? Uh... Information. Uh... Tells about Nodens. A pen. A uh, final... The pe the, and friendship. Does it... Does it... <laughs> There's a summary. <laughs> if you're just going to go to such great lengths to get the dessert like me back, you can't really say no to a reformed enemy, can ya? Oh, you're good with words. Are you my rival character? I bet you're my rival character. Doubtful, since I think you're the comic relief who has a moving death scene right before the end of the story. <laughs> That's great. Trust me. Repeat after me. Not just once, but over and over. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um... I'm scared! He abandons his throne, abandons his reliance on strength, and does the only thing he knows will ensure he doesn't lose. Is he running away? Hey! Come back here! What kind of final boss just escapes. A few final bosses, actually. With that most action people have, you can be in your villain era. <laughs> that is what I'm aiming for this look. Sort of a pirate, drug lord, viking, uh, that sort of vibe. You open up your hands and speak with resolve. Let's go! Roll of the Wanderer! Rule of Rending! <laughs> Here it is! Stop it! Call my name unto thee! No! Don't do this to us! I will cut you down! Boundless Tail! Let's go! Let's do this! We said stop! You're supposed to be the smart one, so why? Why are you giving up this fight? I am not giving up the fight, but that counts. You must remember that the fight does not necessarily mean to win. Rather, standing on the battlefield is but a single baby step toward a victory. 
And that is what we have done. We stood and we fought. And in me de being deprived of victory, I feel I've won all the same. Copium. And as the world collapses in on itself, you could swear you hear your name. Over even the rumblings of time are falling apart. Thank you. I love you all. So ends the tragic space war that terrorized the entire universe. But the story continues for the end of one tale as only the beginning of another. <laughs> Fucking goosebumps. Jeez. Utopia and the old ones view outer space very differently. Fear. Madness. Is born from the unknown. Whereas science is all about exploring it and making it known. Interesting. I feel my brain expanding from the conversation from these two geniuses. <laughs> I dreamed about a huge space warship soaring through the cosmos. That's about all I can remember, but even so, that was super vivid. Whoa, cool. I want to hear all about that. Definitely. Let's get going then, shall we? To my room. What are you going to do in your room, Senpai? Oh, you'll see. You'll play with my telescope. Kurangani leaves work for the day, and the two friends excitedly walk off together. Wow, that's a big telescope. I've been pointing at your servant ever since I could talk. But I'm still learning from the handbook. So throw me a phone! Who exactly have pointed to you? Who gave you that handbook? Um, hey, what's that over there? <laughs> anyway. Um, over there! It sounds like something's up. Oh yeah, you can hear something too. What could be? It sounds like gunfire. We should probably go the other way. But we're gonna go there anyways because that's our personality in this game. It's at this moment that Nodens catch sight of uh, the others as they head off for New Horizons in search of their next conquests. Ah, uh, I've been waiting forever for my first line. Please, wait. <clears throat> Let me take the lead. Let me show you. I'm more wolf than you may think. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just taking off his shirt, just like, okay, no. <laughs> okay, back to the serious moment. The stars outside the windows are the sole source of light, illuminating you both from behind. And what happens next? Only those stars know. It was sex! Nah, nah, they played a, a wonderful game of chess after. We need to survive straight up for the middle one. Do I want to use Summer Tindlos? <laughs> you know what? Let's use Summer Tindlos. It's like, we're never using tanking, let's, let's just have fun with this. This team is kind of hyper shit in terms of damage. <laughs> it's quite bad. God, this team is so shit. Uh, what? Oh my god. Oh no, we're gonna get countdowned! And we don't have healing reversal. Oh, there he goes all our HP. Let's go! Tindy Gaming! <laughs> Dear damage. Let's do this. <laughs> Just out heal everything. <laughs> Was that I'm tired? They totally said I'm tired. <laughs> That's a fun quest. Please tell me someone has Gurren Gotcha. I'm gonna be so sad if no one has Gurren Gotcha up right now. No. No, no one has Gurren Gotcha up. No! Oh, I think fuck. Okay. All right, let's see this meme take place. Uh, darkness comes wrong. Damage is scary. No, Jirong's taking too much damage. Why is he taking so much damage, actually? You gotta be kidding me. He can't be dead already. Jirong survived! Oh wait, that's two hits. It's a fucking combo. No! No try! Damn it. <laughs> fucking madness. No! <laughs> fucking Oz is dead. I hate madness so much. <laughs> so, thanks for joining me everyone. That was Miklo's uh, of the Star of the Sky. 